Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildlife Park 2 where we are watching over our herd of deer and our two beautiful unicorns. They look so weird when they jump like that but also so cool. I think this is our male unicorn right here. Is he shaking? Do you have fleas or something? Doesn't it look like there's a bazillion little fleas running around him? What is going on right here? I would like to mate now, says Knight, and he says he is doing well. But meanwhile, the female Mist is already expecting a baby and she's actually got to wait 117 days before she has that baby. So I guess that means that Knight would be happy if the herd was bigger. Should I add in another unicorn? Maybe we should add in the black unicorn. What do you guys think about that? Maybe put in the black unicorn, a female. We just might do that because Knight is kind of in the mood to have have more babies. So, wow, that sort of escalated really quickly. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just immediately put in this black unicorn. And I think we might actually try to make the forest suit her a little bit better. Hello, gorgeous. I think I'm going to name her Rose. Wow. Okay. Oh, are you already fighting for dominance with the other one? All right. So we're going to name her Rose. So we have Mist, Rose, and Knight, and hopefully they'll get along okay. And now I kind of want to go ahead and figure out some way. Hello, Rose. I want to figure out some way to make the forest sort of match her a little bit better. So maybe put in some darker plants. Too bad we don't have like briar thorns or something like that. That would be really cool. Wow, she's pretty. I wonder if she'll get along with the other horses or they'll get along with her. Wow. All right. Yeah. So welcome to Rose. This kind of happened rather quickly. As soon as we jumped in, I wasn't expecting to do that today. But hey, you know what? Sometimes you just have to do what you just have to do. And I think I want to put in some of the cinnamon ferns, but they can be a little fussy about the ground they want to go on. So there's also pine trees. I just want to fill this area in more. I feel like it's so empty compared to the other places. The azaleas do like a harder ground. All right. What say you, azalea? Oh, now it's too soft. Fine. Fine. All right. What about you, Fern? Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. The ferns are... The, wait, what? You just said you were happy. You want softer ground too? Ah. Okay. Hang on. Um. What about this kind of soft ground? Is that going to make you happy? Is that soft enough? How soft does a fern need? 240, huh? So actually, that would be... Let's see. Hardness 25. So that would be like peat. So what do you think about that? Is that soft enough? Yeah, now we have a happy fern. All right. So I have to put down like peat everywhere and then I can add in happy ferns. But I think that the ferns would actually suit. Uh, and the reeds. How? No, the reeds need like really wet, moist ground. But yeah, I want to try to make the forest look a little bit more foreboding. And it's kind of hard to do, actually. We're sort of limited on the things we can put in there. But I really want to make Rose feel comfortable. I want her to feel like she can adjust well. It looks like the, the unicorns are being watched over by all of these bunnies. Oh, my gosh. The bunnies are all doing well. So I expect to hear news about baby bunnies pretty soon. Knight is still in the mood to mate. But he'll have to wait to see how Rose thinks of things. Um, And, yeah, 92 more days. Just a few more months. And then Mist is going to be having her baby. So welcome, Rose I guess what I could do oh wow Rose these ferns are actually perfect for you they've got little spots of red on top that's really wonderful look at her hi how are you you're definitely something new all right, and it'll be interesting to see which one of the, the colors ends up winning out. But like I keep saying, it's going to be really interesting when maybe in December, I'm thinking, we will start our unicorn challenge for The Sims 3. And that will be really fun because then we can have all sorts of colors and we can train those horses and the, or the unicorns, I should say. And the unicorns actually have very special moves that they do, uh, very special like gardening things that they have done in Sims 3. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But I love this. All right. Hopefully, it looks like Man 2 is feeling pretty happy. These people seem pretty happy. They want to do more shopping. Everybody kind of wants to do more shopping, which surprises me. So we might put down some more places for them to shop at in just a second. Today, we were going to put in a petting zoo as well, but we ended up kind of getting a little sidetracked by getting Rose, but I think that's that's uh, 
think that's a good thing. All right. So welcome, welcome. Hmm, can I go shopping anywhere here? Oh, geez. All of our guests just are thinking about shopping all of the time. And the thing is, there's not that many places to put down for them to do like souvenir shops. Uh, they could be on a rocking horse. <laughs> oh, that might be really fun for the kids. We might do that for the kids in the future. Bunny four is pregnant. Bunny one is pregnant. Bunny two is pregnant. All right, you guys, we have some uh, some pregnant bunnies. So we're gonna have some bunny babies pretty soon. That's gonna be pretty exciting. All right, we have this, oh, this really cool terrarium that we could put in. We should put that next to, we should put the amphibian house because it looks so awesome. And the terrarium over next to where we're gonna put the dragons in a little bit. So that should be pretty fun. And the excursion train track and the excursion train station maybe we'll do some of those things later too there's the aquarium for when we add in the mermaid in the future i wonder if we should put in the diving cage for like the mermaid as well hmm and renting like a diving scooter so you can go dive with the mermaid i hope that she would be like not dangerous for our guests to dive with we'll have to see if she's a risk or not all right oh there's an equestrian store what better thing to come and shop at when you're coming to a unicorn field than an equestrian store come on that is awesome if i could i think i might remove this pavilion let's remove this pavilion we'll go ahead and sell it and we'll put down the equestrian store because everybody just keeps fussing at me about like wanting more places to shop. I really shouldn't stick my nose up in the air at the fact that people want to come and like spend money here. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and give them places to shop if they so wish. And then we'll also give them maybe a nice little restroom tucked up front here. Sort of, sort of behind the pavilion. I can build a tree or two. Uh, we'll think about that. Are you guys really? Oh my gosh. They're so excited. Everybody's like, yeah, somewhere to spend my money. How much money is girl number two going to spend? She's got $320. And she's still got $320. No. Oh, they were going in because it was raining. I get it now. They actually just turned around. They about face. There's nothing to drink. Fine, you guys. So impatient. What about a little soda machine? I'll tuck it like right here. In fact, I'll talk to it on the other side, so it's sort of not the first thing that you see when you pop into our zoo proper. And I'll add that, and now you guys can have a little bin over here so you don't make a big mess in my zoo. Oh my gosh, everybody's acting like they're gonna just, they're gonna, they're gonna run out of water and just kill over without a drink of soda right this second. You guys should bring your own, like, your own glasses. You should bring your own bottled water in, like, a reusable bottle. I never go anywhere without like my glass water bottle because it just it makes me feel so good. There we go. It makes me feel dun 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 like I've got water no matter where I'm at because I have my water bottle with me. Durr. You guys know what I mean. You feel prepared. That's what I was trying to say and I was distracted trying to find where the living oak is. Where did the living oak go? I wanted the living oak. It's so hard to find things. I'm so unfamiliar with this but that's okay. All right, are you a living oak? No. I feel like I'm staring at the same three trees over and over again. I just want the living oak, please. Please. No, not the Italian stone thingy. I just want a living oak. Oh my gosh. Weeping figs. Uh, pawpaw trees. Let's see. Western juniper. Where did the living oaks go? I put down a whole bunch of them and they look really cool. Gray poplar. Well, this guy also can, I think, go down here. American beech can go down here. But the living oaks look really nice. So I'm sort of keeping my eyes peeled for them. Papa. Uh ha! -huh! Live oak. That's why I got thrown off. All right. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. I think it's looking quite nice. Our guests should hopefully be feeling a little bit happier now that they've got some nice living oaks. They've got some, some really pretty awesome beautiful little restaurants and things to go into now they're really hungry and they can't bother themselves to walk a little further to the snack shop down there well okay whatever whatever helps us get more money i guess so i guess we'll just go ahead and put down like another little picnic area right here and then eventually we'll build pretty soon we'll check on rose and then we might go over and we might build a petting area or at least put in the sheep i want to have sheep and then i want to have a sheep dog and then people can go ahead and pet the sheep dog we'll make the, the sheep dog like a petting zoo area which you can do with the domestic animals for the zoo all right there's those fill in this spot a little bit oh wait i forgot to put the actual food location in here oh i feel like a silly silly now all right no what no i didn't want to do that much shrink the range 
Shrink the range for crying out loud. There we go. Oh, and look, because it started snowing. Oh, and Bunny 3 is pregnant now, you guys. <laughs> I'm not surprised. But now that um, it started snowing, the fountain turned off. But the butterflies are still here. So it's interesting to see, like, what's going to disappear and what's going to stick around. All right, let's put down the snack stall right over here. So people will have something to enjoy. And I guess it, you really want to have pavilions scattered everywhere so people can kind of get out of the, the snow and the rain. Oh, hang on. Look, we can look inside of the little equestrian area. This is so interesting. So it's like horse relics, old horseshoes, western horse things, carriages. Interesting. I like the, the floor tile in there. All right. So how are we going over here, you guys? Mist, are you doing well? Mist, you are a lot bigger. Rose the Black Unicorn is a lot smaller. <gasps> 30 more days! 30 more days! And then we have babies! And then we have some babies over here, you guys. All right. And then Rose is thinking she misses her fellows. You guys, black unicorns and white unicorns can't share. Can't share mates. This blows my mind! There are two different kinds of unicorn. Rose, I'm so sorry. I really thought Knight would be able to, like, take her on as a, a mate, and that's not the case. Wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna get a mail, and now we're deeply, deeply in debt, and I feel like I need, I feel like Knight's gonna challenge them, so I feel like I need to get a whole new area, so we'll have to build a whole new area just for the black unicorns, and I kind of like that idea, though, because then we could try putting in different things with the black unicorns, and we'll have some things in with the white unicorns, and, like, maybe we'll put in some ponies with the black unicorns, or some cows, even. We have cows, or even raccoons or pigs. That would actually be kind of funny to have a bunch of little pigs running around, too. Oh, there's white rabbits. What? That's so cool. We might put the white rabbits in with the black unicorn. So we'll give them a special area in a little bit. I think we'll open up like another field over here. But oh, Bunny, Bunny 4 has offspring. When did this happen? Where are the little offspring? Are those the little baby bunnies? Oh gosh, welcome to the world, baby bunnies. You guys are so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's bunnies everywhere. Wow, we can have a bunny petting area pretty soon. Hi, Rose. And there's deer. I, I don't think the deer have started to have babies yet. I think maybe a couple of them got pregnant. So we'll have to wait and see. So there we go. Rose has come to join the family. I just feel really bad because I didn't realize that the black unicorns are considered an entirely different species. So we'll, we'll remember that. Bunny 2, 4, and 1 all have offspring now. Knight still wants to have another mate, but I don't know about that. And then... Yeah, 13 days! 13 days and then Mist is going to have a baby. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. People seem to be a little bit happier with life down here. So while we're waiting for Mist to have her baby, we'll go ahead and kind of get started on the paths over here. I think we'll have this kind of loop around and loop together. And then I think we'll have it come over. And I kind of want to have... Like, maybe we'll put the sheep back here so people can just look at the sheep. And then over here, we'll put the petting area. Or over here, we'll put the petting area for the sheep dogs. So I think we might have the path come down like this. And then people can walk around here. And there'll just be a whole bunch of sheep. And they can kind of see along the side of the, the lake where we're going to have the mermaid. And there'll be a whole bunch of sheep sheep right, right over here. Hmm. And I think I need to give it a little bit more room. Bunny 3 has offspring. Wonderful. Lots of bunnies. We've got plenty of bunnies coming. There we go. And we'll kind of turn this area into like the petting zone, the petting area for the dogs. Because I think that would be kind of cool to have little sheep dogs and you could adopt them. All right. And let's go ahead and keep an eye on Mist now. Because I really think any second now, she's going to have that baby. Two days. Two days. We've got little bunny babies all over the place. All right, it's December 22nd. <gasps> Any minute now. Oh, 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 she's laying down. <gasps> Just like that. Baby popped out. Huzzah. We have a unicorn full. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Yay. Born in winter. Is it a boy or girl? I'm going to guess it's a boy. So that's my guess. So it's a little boy unicorn. So I think, but we'll, we'll prove that guess in just a second. 
Look at you. Are you going to interact with your mom? Or are you just going to run around and be adorable? <gasps> He's so cute, you guys. We have a unicorn fold. Just imagine how much more exciting this is going to be when it's like our legacy challenge. All right, let's get a good look at you. Oh my gosh, there's so much whinnying going on in here now. Hi, buddy. Hi. Are you getting plenty to eat there? Wow, you're cute. All right, are you going to go near your mom? Like to eat some fruit? You would like to scratch yourself? Let's see, and he's zero years old. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on him and see what he does. But welcome to Unicorn... And it is a boy! Huzzah! So welcome to Baby Unicorn 3. We have a little foal. That's very exciting. All right. And we'll go ahead and we will put in our sheepdog area. And then after we work on the sheepdog area, we'll go ahead and add in the mermaid. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put in maybe a new small forest for the black unicorn too because i kind of feel like they deserve their own space i did them a bit of a disservice um accidentally putting them in a space that they weren't really meant to share and then i think i'm going to make sure that one of the like keeper guys can go back in the back corner here and then we'll sort of do this for the sheep sheep and then we'll kind of leave all of this space over here for the petting zoo that we're gonna have, like this side, is going to be a petting zoo for our retired sheepdogs. And they could be like the sheepdogs that are in all of those uh, myths and all of the stories, the loyal dog who watches over its master. You know, so many times it's like a, a young shepherd's boy who takes on the quest and manages to rescue the princess or slay the dragon or things like that. But if you really want to twist on the tails, I highly recommend the Enchanted Forest series where actually the princess decides to work for the queen of dra or the king of dragons, but king is just a title. So it's actually like a female who leads the, the dragon. So I love the Enchanted Forest series. It is one of my favorites. Now I want to reread it just out of the blue. Oh, Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this right here. And let's see if I can throw down... Where's the animal caretaker? Can you go right here? Oh, 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 oh. I almost nailed that so good. Just a little... Yeah, all right. Perfect. So that'll dump him right out to where he's going to be able to watch over our sheep. And then we can put in some sheep dogs later. So where's my sheep sheep? I, I know I saw a sheep in here. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a koala. It looks like a gremlin, not gonna lie. I was so worried. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's our sheep. All right, so Romney sheep. And what do you need, sheep? Let's see. Uh, hardness of ground, 80, uh, 0 to 80, so they tolerate quite a bit. They like t at least five in their herd. So I'll be sure to add, add that in. They want to run, they want to scrape, they want water, and they want forge. So not too many things, not too many things. We should be able to keep our sheep pretty darn happy. So we'll add in, let's see, two males and three, four, five, six females. And now let's make sure we feed them really quickly. <laughs> So they actually have a little bit. We'll give them something to scrape on in just a second. Um, and I need to give them something to eat too. All right, we'll do this oak trough because that should be pretty good. Couple of those. And then we'll give them, oh yeah, look at this. Some cool water troughs. And then let's see. They are going to want something. Large shell bank, what? There's some interesting things in here that I think we could probably just use as decoration if nothing else. I do that a lot in uh, like this log, what? Who goes in the log? I don't care. You guys get the log because it just looks cool. Oh my gosh, the sheep make noises. <gasps> like a tree trunk! Yes! We're going to decorate all over the black unicorn's forest with these tree trunks and logs. Those are so cool. And like, we'll make it all full of stones. That's really neat. All right. So sheep, sheep, hang on just a second because the sheep are going to want something to scrape up against. And I think I need to put down like... This looks kind of painful. <laughs> Like scraping up against that would be uncomfortable in my opinion. So we'll let the sheep kind of adjust. I'm not sure what else food to forage for. Um, I think that should count the grain feed. And then maybe we'll, oh, maybe we need to put down some things so they can just kind of, you know, munch along. Oh, I wonder if they want vegetables. <gasps> Let's put a little vegetable patch in the back over here. Oh my gosh, that'll be cool. Come on, help, you're starving. What? But I thought you had food. Okay, quick, before the vegetable patch, we need something. Uh, corn rack with vegetables? How do I? Oh, come on, guys. Work with me here. Do you want, do you need this kind of grain feeder? Uh, what about this kind of grain feeder? Somebody eat! Do you need this? Eat! 
Which food do you want? <laughs> Hurry and eat. Do you need animal pellets? <laughs> Somebody eat. <laughs> oh my gosh, there. <laughs> okay, so next time we'll make sure our sheep will survive. I did not anticipate that. So they only eat out of this one. So we'll we'll hurry and take care of them and, and make sure they don't die. And then I will see you guys next time when we'll get our little petting zoo in. And then we'll make a forest for the black unicorns. I'm actually really proud about this forest now. And then we will go ahead and add in our mermaid of the lake and see how the heck that even works out. So I'm kind of... Nervous but interested in adding in the mermaid. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.